Hello everybody, welcome to Tom's Tips and today we're going to try a myth buster test. A myth buster to test whether you can solder with water running in a pipe. Is it possible? Well anything's possible, it's just knowing how to do it. As long as you can keep that water to a minimum and overcome the heat with that water taken away, it is possible. Let's have a go. See if we can do it. Okay, so this is the sort of situation we're sim simulating now, where you've got a pipe lower in the system, and it's got constantly water running through it. You can't stop it. So we're going to try and solder this now by giving it an escape. With that water in the pipe, it's impossible to solder because it takes away the heat that you're putting on with your lamp. It's just running, going into the water and dissipating. So we want to put a T in, in the system there. And in that T we want to put a brass drain off. So hopefully that water will be able to run out of the drain off as we're soldering it. Like so. And we should be able to solder up the rest of the, the um, team. So then, let's fire up the lamp and give it a stamp. Where the water's going so they can steam that out. Right. 
So there you have it. Yeah, it's all been well. Turn that up. That should stop the water coming at me then. Shutting the water off. Prove the water's still there. Yeah. Soldering with water in pipes. Well, so there are people. You can solder when there's a small amount of water in the pipe. But it's not the water itself that's causing the problem. It's not affecting the, the joint in any chemical sort of way. It's the fact that it's stealing the heat that you're putting in. To melt the solder you've got to put a certain amount of heat in the water and it's nicking that heat and running away with it. So as long as you can replace that heat, have a good lamp, keep the lamp on it, keep it red hot, watch the solder run. Once the solder's run you've, re you've reached the temperature right? and the, the water's not doing any harm if you're above that temperature. So that's the key here, keep it warm, keep it hot. Uh, just let the water bubble. But if there's a lot of water there you have more chance. I think that amount of water that I was giving it then was about a maximum amount you can do with soldering. You probably get away with a bit more if you go brazing or silver soldering, but with soft, soft, soft soldering, that's what we're doing, soft soldering. Um, it doesn't take a lot of water to make it so that you're not getting the heat in. But that's the key, that's the key, the heat. Always get the heat there. If you're not getting the heat there, it won't solder. Anyway, we'll see you again. Uh, sometime in the future for another Tom's Tips.